Yakuba, welcome. Thank you. Yakuba, you are recently appointed as the new Secretary General of the Africa Sea Trade Association. Congratulations. Thank you. What brought you to the world of seeds? Yeah, this is an interesting question. Yeah. The seed sector for me is a, a dynamic sector. Sure. Everything in agriculture starts by the seed, <laughs> and it's this area where we have a lot of challenges in terms of research and innovation, in terms of policy, in terms of market, and also the diversity of the sector. You will deal with um, big companies, we we'll deal with small farmers, we we'll deal with the medium, with research, with policymakers, and uh, that's why I think the seed sector is a play. See the place where we can have a lot of challenges, but also where we can contribute a lot for the transformation of the agriculture in our continent. This is an attractive sector, that's why I'm there. Yeah, wonderful. And three times a day we find it on our plates, right? Yeah. I think um, to, in that place, for example, we have the opportunity to interact with various people and uh, also to deal with key challenges impacting the, mm -hmm. the agricultural sector in the continent. And uh, I think joining AFSA in that sector was for me a wonderful experience. I'm going to be great. And I look forward to all your uh, your future work and activities. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, but uh, Yacouba, your background is mostly of, so far in the public sector. I, I, I think you worked with CORAF, with uh, African Union, with USAID. How is that background going to affect your work in AFSTA? Yeah, that's it, true. I have long experience in working in public organization in the research and development. Uh, on, but I have one foot in the seed sector in this uh, long experience mm -hmm. in um, Korra. For example, when I was there, I was interacting with AFSA. I used to partner okay. with AFSA for at least 10 years, and I attend to eight Congress of AFSA. We have an MOU, and I was supporting the small, medium seed uh, companies in the West and Central Africa, and also in terms of support to the Harmonize uh, implement, uh, implementation of the harmonized regulation of ECOWAS. I was in charge of uh, of that in the, in my recent organization. Ah, sure. That's yeah. I have a, a contact with this the seed industry. Uh, that's why I I think the sector is not new, but uh, the challenge is a little bit different. Working in the public organization and now joining the private association. The challenges are different. We need to engage them. We need to work a lot of to be sure that we are providing in return service to the members of our, our organization. I think my public experience also probably could help us in terms of connection. You Not know, the seed sector. We need both the public and the private uh, sector. So it can be something, an asset for me to succeed also. Yeah. Great. I, I agree with you. It can be uh, certainly an asset. Yeah. Yes. Um, let's let's look at the at the at the near future, at the, at the next year. What are you going to focus on? I will. The first thing to do is now to be able to develop a new strategic vision for AFSTA. So the last one is ending. We are now started consultation with the AFSTA members and other partners to see how we can quickly have a new vision and try to make AFSA greater as, as it, it should be. Um, we are also trying to quickly support the sector to be focused on some key priorities. There are some burning issues now under discussion and we want the sector and the AFSA to be part of that uh, global discussions uh, on the on the on the, the next feature, we are interacting with uh, the, the key organization in the seeds industry, and we think AFSA should be there quickly to also host the voice of the continent in that uh, global discussion regarding to the quality, to the uh, uh, intellectual property, uh, property rights, and so on and so forth. And um, we are going to organize our next 
Congress oh, in uh, in Rwanda. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, let me look at it. Yeah, from when three to five of March oh, in Kigali. Yeah, and we will also celebrate the twenty five anniversary of Rasta. So this even should be one of our priority. Now it's one of our priority how we can make it successful, yeah, yeah, yeah. bringing more people and also seat industry and celebrate 25th anniversary of the seed in the uh -huh. continent. And uh, we are inviting all of you to attend that uh, Congress. How wonderful. Yeah. Oh, I look forward to uh, to over at 3 to 5 March next year, 25, in Kigali, in Rwanda. Okay, very exciting. Good luck with the preparations. Yes, thank you. Gosh, okay. uh, Yakuba, if we look a bit further ahead for the next 5 to 10 years, where where would you like AFSTA to be in 10 years from now? In 10 years, Africa will be in the middle of various things in terms of agriculture, you know, all this uh, um, climate change and all the global movement because Africa is the center of discussions and uh, we think also the Africa Seed Trade Association should be part of uh, that um, uh, situation and I think uh, AFSA in 10 years must be one of the key um, uh, uh, organization able to discuss directly with the continental organization, hosting the voice of the private sector, uh, particularly in the policy decision making, but also in terms of development of the seed industry in the continent. AFSA must be the organization, our vision is to make AFSA a a kind of organization where when we talk about seed, mm. you cannot talk without AFSA. Yeah. In the decision making process, in the development of the industry, pushing more actors, more young people, more ladies to be engaged in the seed industry to fill the gap. Recently, when we made an assessment, the continent is uh, a little bit like behind in terms of variety adoptions, mm -hmm. and uh, we want to change the situation. We want to reverse where all the small farmers in the continent should be able to get access to improved varieties mm -hmm. and uh, increase the yield. And mm -hmm. why not all the transformation of the agriculture in the continent? So AFSA will be that stellar organization trying and giving the direction for the future of the agriculture of Sahel. Wonderful. Good luck with that. Thank you, Yakub. Thank you. Merci.